friends, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this really sweet mason jar card today using the mason jar honey cuts. This is a really adorable set that includes a card base that's shaped like a mason jar. You can just see that I have that die on some white cardstock here. I'm going to use some low tack tape to tape that die onto my white cardstock. Then I'm just going to take my scissors and trim that down so that it will go through my die cutting machine. I'll run that through the machine and I will have just a really great little card base for my cards. You can just see that that die scores the card uh, card stock at the top there and now I'm just going to take my bone folder and get a really nice firm fold in that top there along that score line and then that will be all ready to complete. Now I'm going to take the bottom portion of that die and cut out some pattern paper for my card front. This is some paper from the Hugs and Kisses pattern, patterned paper pad. This is just a beautiful paper pad. I love it so much. I'm also going to use a piece of this burlap paper from the Farm Fresh Holiday paper pad. This is not actually burlap obviously it is paper but it is definitely a burlap print. It's it's really fun and I'm going to use that as a little jar topper for my project. So I've used that jar topper die from the set to cut out that burlap paper. Now I'm going to take my honey bee glue tube and I'm going to add a little bit of liquid adhesive to the back of the paper and I'll adhere that onto my card front. I like using this liquid adhesive because it gives me a little bit of time to wiggle my paper around and get it just into the right position so that it's covering my card just perfectly. So there you can just see I have that on there. I'm just going to burnish that down a little bit and make sure that glue is all adhered and now I can just take that topper and add that onto the top of my mason jar. Now this die set does include another die that would cut out like a typical jar lid. You could cut that from metallic paper or whatever you'd want for a different look for your jar. Now I'm going to use this really amazing foam roll. This is a roll of foam dots that Honeybee sells in the shop. I will be sure to link that up. But these are really great little foam dots. They have a little tab on them for the release paper on the back that allows you to just grab that tab and take the backer off of the dots. It's a really, really great value. You get a ton of foam adhesive on that roll and I really love these. They are a really great product. So I'm going to use a bunch of those foam dots on the back of that topper just to go ahead and add that to the project. It's going to give it some really nice dimension and I'm also going to add a little bit of frayed burlap around the edges of this and I'm also going to add a little bit of twine to the top of the project as well. You'll see that as the project continues here. I'll tie just a little bit of uh, kind of a jute twine around the top of this uh, top portion of the card. So I'm just adding this frayed burlap in here. I just think that it adds just that really nice detail to the edges of this paper and just I think that just really finishes it off, ni off nicely. So I'm just going to set my uh, ink blending tool and my frayed burlap off to the side here. I'm going to grab my honeybee precision tip tweezers and just add that onto the top of my card and you can just see how this is coming along nicely. Now I'm going to take some worn lipstick distress oxide ink and again my ink blending tool and I'm going to add a little bit of ink edging to the jar. You could actually add this to the front and back of the card base if you wanted and this is just going to again add that little bit of nice finish to the edges of the card. Super easy step and yet it just really makes the edges of the card I think pop and adds that little bit of color detail so really super pretty I love the colors that are in that pattern paper I think it's just adorable now I'm taking the label die from the mason jar set and I'm going to die cut that from some white cardstock as well I'm going to use the bitty buzzwords be mine dice uh, sorry die set not stamp set so I'm not using the stamps for this I'm just using the dies and I'm going to use the word sweet I'm going to die die cut the base out of some aqua color cardstock and then the scripty word sweet out of some white cardstock and then I'll adhere that white cardstock onto the aqua it's going to look so pretty and crisp for a detailed sentiment for the front of my card just using my tweezers to help me glue those pieces together and that be mine honey cuts 
set for the Biddy Buzzwords does come with the backer and the scripty word for all of those words that you saw on the screen there in that set. So it's really fantastic. Now I am going to be using the, this is called Hello Sweetheart set. And this Hello Sweetheart set not only has that beautiful heart, but it also has some really great sentiments in it. So I'm going to use a couple of those sentiments to my and love. So the entire sentiment or greeting on the front of the card is going to be to my sweet love and the to my and sweet are going to be stamped out on that white cardstock with some black crisp ink. So I'm just lining those up. Uh, I think at some point here I decide that I'm going to move the words to my up a little bit just to make sure that they're all centered. But I don't have the word sweet adhered down yet at this point. I just have it sitting on there because I'm just trying to get everything positioned using my Misty to help me out here so that I get things in the right place. So I'm just using the grid lines on the on the Misty door to help me make sure that things are straight. I really love that the Misty has all of those little um, you know uh, details to it that really help it make your card look a lot better so my misty tool is used on virtually every card project that I make and I really love it so now I'm just going to ink up that stamp using some versifying clear really crisp ink for sentiments I'm going to stamp that out here and I'm also going to do some um, heat embossing so the nice thing about that ink is it slowly dries and you can put your clear embossing powder over top of it and then heat that embossing powder up until it melts and then you've just got like a really nice crisp crisp shiny and dimensional sentiment for your piece I'm going to take my ink blending tool again and a little bit of that worn lipstick and just add a little bit of that to the edges of my label just to set off the edges a little bit as well and just kind of bring out that pink in the project again and that's just a really simple again easy technique that you can use um, in all of your different uh, paper crafting projects you know scrapbooking or whatever it is that you might be doing uh, card making obviously it's just a really simple and easy way to add some detail there I've got those fantastic foam dots again added to the back of my label I'm also going to add them to the back of the word sweet and I'm going to get that adhered to that label and that will finish off the sentiment for my card really love how that came together and I love these bitty buzzwords there are so many now in the honeybee collection you can find these in lots of different themes and for lots of different types of cards and you can mix and match and they work really well so there you can just see I have that twine tied on the top of that topper for the jar now I'm going to take the little bow die that's part of the mason jar honey cut set I'm going to cut that out of the same aqua paper that I have on my sentiment and add that to my project and I'm also going to use some of the rainbow gems so I'm going to use one of the red gems and I'm going to just stick that in the center of my bow and that is going to complete my card I really love how this turned out I think that oh yes I forgot to mention I also used the um this is called and I'm just trying to remember I think this is inside kindness yes it's the inside kindness sentiment set which is awesome and I have stamped a sentiment inside of my card as well just to finish it off and that is my project today thank you so much for watching make sure that you check the links in the description box below for all of the products that i've used today on my project have an amazing day friends and i'll see you soon bye bye <music>